This actually is not a new tee or new jeans, but I have new hair. It's my first time dyeing my whole head of hair, so uh, be nice. We are back with an actual Target vlog. I know it's been a while. You know what it is? We are getting new jeans's new album for the first time on release day at Target, which is exciting. Um, it is actually 8 a.m. right now. Target is literally opening as we speak. I can see people walking in and I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little nervous actually because um, as you know, there's like member versions for the bag version this time and I collect all the album versions and I'm a little nervous because first I feel like they're not gonna have all versions like one Target's not gonna have all the member versions so I'll probably have to be doing a little tour around here. Second thing is I'm just scared that there's gonna be some other people here at this Target wanting to get it at this hour because there actually is. Because recently there's been some competition, so I'm just scared people are gonna be like, why is this bitch hogging up all these albums? But I'm just trying to get all the versions, so yeah. I'm not gonna waste any more time because like I said, Target just opened, so I should probably get it ASAP. <laughs> I just thought of that on the spot. There is a morning rush today. Hi, good Hi. morning. How are you? Okay, I have some more. I don't know which ones you're looking for. I might be crazy, but I'm trying to actually get like all six of these ones. Like, in, in which color? Um, there's like different like names on it. Sorry. That's no, no problem. <laughs> What's the difference between these two? Oh. What's up, the new one? What's in this one? Um, it's, this one is called the back version. It's like this one, like you can see this packaging, but not. Yes, this is actually all of them. I'm surprised it all arrived at one store. Oh, are you are you okay with the, the colors or? or yeah. Oh yeah, the colors. Guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, it's just the like, name. Yeah, okay. it's just the names that's different. So all now time. I know, so I'm gonna go back there and sort them by name. So oh, when yeah. people ask, I'll know. I won't have to go through them all again. Yeah. Oh my God. Thank you so much for your you're, help. That's you're welcome. Right. Have a nice day. <laughs> deserves a victory dance. Yeah! 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. First of all, um, these packages are so big. I needed two bags. It was a twofer, but oh my god, most successful shopping trip ever? Wait, making history as we speak. Oh my god, they literally, one Target, one Target had all of the versions. That's crazy, because like in my past experiences, one Target would never have all member versions of anything. So I am quite shocked. Okay, so first of all, I tried this new way of like vlogging <laughs> where I like put my phone in my basket so that I'm not like, you know, whipping out my phone and like filming everything. So I, so you saw like a little behind the scenes of what actually goes on when I go shopping. But first of all, it was kind of chaotic. I didn't talk too much in Target because as expected, there were other people there waiting for new jeans. Although it was kind of strange. So First, there, when I approached the area, there were like people like talking to the employee already, buying the New Jeans album. So there were people there before me, which is crazy. <laughs> Cause like, I literally like walked in at like 8.02 AM, but, and then there were like other people around the area too. Like one other person, I don't think they were actually there for New Jeans. They like looked at it and then they asked the employee for something like completely different. And then someone else like came up to me and I like asked me like, you know, like what the difference was. You guys saw that. But then I don't know if they actually bought the New Jeans albums. And then like literally right across the aisle, um, there were like these people trying to buy like these toys or something. I don't know. Like they were talking to the employees in the toy department. There was literally like people around me the entire time. It's like, 
wasn't super comfortable just like taking out my phone and like talking and vlogging so but anyways uh there were three versions out there of the bag and then both of the power puff and then the employee actually didn't know that there were like different um like member versions of the same color because um she just thought that it was just the colors that were different not the names so i explained that to her and now she knows so yeah we're helping each other out there were three that were out there because there are three different colors and then so she i i <laughs> saying out loud i'm trying to buy six of these it's just <laughs> yeah i think the other person next to me was like oh interesting <laughs> but anyways the employee was so nice as usual Ugh, she's such a queen love her we stand her here she went to the back and then she came out with like a huge stack of the boxes surprise surprise they actually did have the remaining three members that i needed so yeah i only had to go to one target that's kind of crazy. So, little hurl moments. First of all, we have the New Jeans X Powerpuff Girl box. I actually almost grabbed two of the same version because um, she handed me the other one. I was like, oh, thanks. And then I looked closely and I was like, wait, this is the same one. So I, for I forgot which one's the A and the B version, but this is the first one. Look at how cute it is. I love Powerpuff Girls. Like... Oh my god, nostalgia. And then this is the other one. So you can see there's a little bit of a difference. There's the two Powerpuff Girl ones. And then, out of all things, they had to make the box, the bag version, a member version thing. But anyways, I did get all six of them. So this is Hyein's, um, is this gray or black? And then this is Honey's blue one. Oh my god, it looks like gray on camera. Hedin's blue Jinji's uh gray one or black one. Oh, also this is a target exclusive as well this says oh it's just the postcard but it's a target exclusive we have the new jeans pink version and that means the last one is danielle's pink version oh my god i probably looked crazy getting all of these <laughs> but we did it y'all and to top it off um, Target also kind of came through and gave me a 20% off my entire purchase coupon as a student discount. Like, wait. So I literally saved it for this moment. The original price was, I think, $201 after tax. Oh, God. But after my 20% off discounts, my red card savings, and my Target Circles earnings, which was only a dollar, I paid $151. I saved... Fifty dollars, y'all. That is crazy. So thanks, Target. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I guess technically you can try and price match these because I mean these ones aren't a Target exclusive, so maybe your employees will be nice. But I was taking up too much of these employees' times to be price checking all of these, so I don't even bother anymore. But okay, wow, that was quite a successful shopping trip. I guess all we need to do is just go home and open all these up. So I'll see you then. Okay, y'all, who is fucking ready? It has actually been a hot minute since I've done an unboxing and Target haul, so feels good to be back. Um, but we, yes, we have all of the versions of New Jeans' second EP, Get Up. Obviously, the only version we don't have with us is the Weavers version because they don't sell Weavers versions at American retailers, so... I will open that on my channel sometime later. I did order those to my Kayati, so sorry I don't have it for this video, but of course we just have the rest of the albums that Target sells. So we have both of the box versions, so the A and the B, and then we have all six of the beach bag versions, so New Jeans, Minji, Hani, Danielle, Hye Heading and Hyang. For some reason, they switched the colors for these for the member order, but we are here and I'm very excited. So let's just go ahead and open these. I'm sure y'all are very excited and curious too to see what this crazy album looks like because damn, this packaging is insane. All right, starting off, we have the A version of the Powerpuff Girls X New Jeans box version. First of all, can we just talk about the Powerpuff Girl official collaboration? Like, that is actually insane. You guys know how iconic the Powerpuff Girls are, so it's crazy how they got an official collab, and 
it's like their album art and this version of the album and the music video it's crazy so this was like when nct and sanrio collabed oh my god my two worlds colliding all right so i guess this is like the more typical standard album of theirs you know because the other ones are the bag and the weavers oh my goodness whoa there's so much stuff in here as always they include a buttload of shit in here oh my goodness whoa oh my god i see so many like powerpuff girl related things oh my god this is so cute already okay um i don't even know what to go through first okay so it looks like we get three different photo books okay right so i guess we'll flip through this first one, new hair, new tea, new jeans. So this one, ooh, this seems to be like, this seems, oh my God, I can't talk. This seems to be like a scrapbook almost. You see all these little Polaroids. As always, I love the aesthetic and the graphic design and like the way this is like um, designed and stuff. If you guys are not new to my channel, you guys know this is kind of like my aesthetic, like the y2k inspired collages the colorfulness stickers and whatnot so i really did like you know their packaging from their first two albums so i knew i was gonna like this one like look at how pretty this is i love these little like jewel details and stuff it looks like they kind of like wrote the, like maybe things to do over the summer little summer activities and stuff Ooh, the colors are so pretty. But yes, we have another New Jeans comeback. And oh my goodness, let me just say once again, the music. Can we give it up, y'all? Can we give it up? Because I it's so it's so interesting because I feel like New Jeans has yet to release a song where like I genuinely just like dislike it, you know? I mean I rarely ever like hate songs, if you guys know me. But you know, if there's a song I don't really vibe with or like just like I just dislike it's not my favorite then I just want to listen to it you know like I just want to gravitate towards it but I just feel like New Jeans has yet to release a song where I'm just like you know I'm not really a big fan of this song so I'll just skip it but yeah like all their their entire discography is truly no skip for me it's just so like fun and simple but catchy and vibey you can just dance to it you can vibe with you know your friends in the car you can tell a lot of people do genuinely do like their music because like even people that i know in real life who don't necessarily gravitate towards k-pop they like new jeans music they do like it especially because you know they see it on tiktok and all that so that's how you know they make good ass music and this ep was very very good and i actually do have more of an opinion now because hold on wait okay so this is this is the first photo book. Now we have this one, must-haves for summer. Ooh, maybe this is like a shopping guide type of thing. You know, those like magazines, those infomercial magazine type of things. Like this is the must-haves for the summer. I'm guessing they're just gonna advertise their bag. But hey, it's a cute ass bag though. Anyways, as I was saying, um, wait, what was I saying? Oh, okay. The reason why I have more of like an opinion on their songs, because usually you guys know um, for these Target release day unboxings, you know, I only have had like not even a full 12 hours to listen to the entire album and like process my final thoughts and stuff. But the way they like roll out New Jeans' music is interesting because they pretty much just released the entire album <laughs> before the actual release day. So like they released music videos for pretty much every single song and then they performed ETA at their fan meeting i think so the only song we never really heard in full was asap but at the same time we did because they pretty much like teased the entire song that's pretty much what the entire song is is just those two teasers but yeah i have definitely like listened to you know all the songs and again like bop after bop like super shy is just such a fun and light carefree summer song they just released summer smashes like hype boy was my summer song of the year last year so super shy could be this year's summer song song of the year yeah and then new jeans was a fun little intro song I, I feel like it was meant to be kind of an intro song and cool with you oh my god like completely different vibe but i loved it i don't know how to describe it because i'm not like a music genius or anything 
is it like R&B inspired maybe? I could be totally wrong, so don't come for me, but... And Get Up, oh my god, like, it is criminal how short that song is, like... I know it's like, you know, it serves as kind of like an interlude in the mini album, or like an outro to Cool With You, because in the Cool With You music video, they like, made it like a Cool With You, a Get Up music video type of thing. But I mean, why would you include an interlude in a 12 minute album, EP? Let me just say, like, that is criminal. Like, interludes are supposed to be for, like, 12 song full albums. Like, it is criminal that that song is so short because it's so good. It honestly could have been, like, my favorite track if it wasn't 30 seconds. <laughs> like, I feel like at that point, they should have just, like, made it, like, an outro for Cool With You, you know? I guess that was kind of their intention, you know, by making it, you know, after Cool With You and in the music video. But you know how, like, for example, like, if you guys know Log In by 5050, which, by the way, is also another criminally underrated song by 5050, they kind of, like, have, like, a little outro at the end of the song. If that sounds, like, completely different to the rest of the song. Sorry, I'm, like, getting so distracted. Like, this is why they should have just made one photo book, but this is the third photo book. 10 Things New Jeans Love About Summer. I feel like if it's that short, they could have just made it into like a little outro for Cool With You. It definitely does fit. Like, I know some people may disagree because like it's like a completely different song, but I feel like it works as like a little outro, so they could have just done that. I don't know. Regardless, the songs are really good. And then ETA, they did like perform it earlier. I feel like ETA took a little bit of listening to for me because like I feel like it was completely different. It was a little spicy, if you will, but I really liked it. It's such a fun upbeat dance song but yeah and then asap asap was i feel like the song everyone was really looking forward to because it was like the song that they first teased i think for this comeback and then you know the two snippets literally went viral on tiktok like people love the sound of it so people were hyped up and then it was literally the last song that they like showed but i'm gonna be honest it was actually like not what i expected at all to be like, I don't know, it, for me, when I first listened to it, the structure kind of threw me off a bit, I'm not even gonna lie. The second half of the song kind of threw me off a little bit, so I was like, this is interesting. But then the more I listened to it, the more it did grow on me. I definitely liked the first half better than the second half, but not what I expected it to be. Yeah, still such an amazing EP, even though, like, this was such a short EP. It's kind of crazy, because, like, this has six songs as com compared to their first EP, but their first EP is actually longer than this EP. It's literally like, I think like 40 seconds longer. So yeah, I guess they're in their Pink Panthers era. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I feel like it could have been, a they should have just given us a full album at this point, but at least we have new New Jeans music because we all, that's the thing about me. Like first and foremost, when I like listen to and like stand and a group is their music, you know? Because, you know, they're musicians. And if I don't like a musician's music, then what's the point? You know, like, I, I genuinely, like, am he mainly here for the music. So, music is my life. Oh my god, why did I just say that? But, yeah, like, there's all their songs. Are, like, why was Zero, like, low-key a banger, too? Like, I know people didn't like the chorus, but the verses, though, why? A sponsorship song did not need to be that good, like... But yeah, I feel like nowadays, though, like, a lot of, like, sponsorship music sounds really good. Like, Ive's new Pepsi song was also really good, too. Like, damn, they're really giving these songs to these companies? Okay. I'm sorry I talked so much. I feel like you guys know how it, how it is on this channel. Like, the first photo book flip through is usually the longest one because I have a lot to say. Anyways, I should probably chill. But this is the cute little lyrics book. Oh my god, uh, all these little graphics. Oh my god, this aesthetic is so cute. Like, this could seriously work as, like, someone's Pinterest board. All these little, like, designs and stuff. They could make some cute-ass merch with all this. The potential is there. Oh my god, and this, this is so cool to, like, this is the Weaver's version design. I'm so excited to get that. Like, they really upped their game compared to their previous Weaver's versions. And also the fact that they actually separated it by versions, like ABC, so if you really buy all the versions, you get like all of the photo cards, which is crazy. And then this is, oh, I'm guessing this is the Target exclusive postcard. All right, and then, ooh, an envelope. 
Ooh, okay, so it looks like we get some stickers, which is typical of them. They usually give us like all these cute stickers. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. All right, and then it looks like we get some, these look like photos that they took. Each of the members, like member version postcards, but it's not of them. Because they did, oh my god, like we're going to have to dive into their budget because they are traveling for these music videos, it's crazy. So I'm guessing these are like little travel postcards, which is cute, right? And then we get the CD, it has the Powerpuff Girls. And this is what it looks like, cute. Okay, and then it looks like we get two of these paper ornaments things. And then lastly, we get the photo card set. So actually, I think the photo card set's the same for both versions. So I guess I'm gonna have two of these. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, let's look at them. Ooh, there's the back as well. So pretty. So we have Minji, Hani, Danielle, Hedin, and Kain. But yeah, oh my god, the photo card backs obsessed. So generous, as always, that they are continuing to give us all these sets of photo cards. All right, now we're gonna get into the B version. I low key um, forgot the album details, but I'm kind of hoping this isn't just exactly the same, just a different box. It honestly could be, so whoops, but you guys know how much of an album collector I am, even if it's like the same exact like photo book and stuff. I still buy it if it's like different covers. <sighs> we know some other companies that do that. <clears throat> SM. <clears throat> okay, so we know for a fact that the photo cards are the same. So we have another one of those. Oh, I think we got the same ornaments too. So maybe these aren't random. Okay. This is the same. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, so it's exactly the same. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they probably did say this on the album details. It's just me being kind of fucking stupid and not double checking, but still kind of evil that they didn't change anything really. Like literally nothing is different except for the box. <laughs> I might as well could have just bought an empty box from someone, but damn. Okay, so FYI. All right, y'all, the moment we've been waiting for, we have another bag version. We all know how fun and iconic the first bag version was. So the fact that they made another one, again, budget where? Because this is insane. So yes, we're starting off with the New Jeans group version of the Beach Bunny bag. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Like we all know how much we love fun album packaging and whatnot. It, may, it really makes you feel like you're getting your money's worth, you know, instead of just some cheap ass photo book. You get a whole bag. Oh my God, also I just realized that this is the Target exclusive, not the Powerpuff Girl one. So disregard what I said about the postcard. Okay. Oh my God. This is insane. It literally is like a beach bag. Imagine like you go to the beach and like 10 other people are actually carrying this. That's crazy. Okay, wait. Ooh. Okay, so this is the actual bag. It has all the little like bunny decor is actually, this is so cute. This could literally be like a, like a decoration piece in like your room or something. That is so cute. Oh my god, I can't. That, using this as a bag though, um, you can probably fit like your phone in like a block of sunscreen, but... <laughs> okay, and then everything comes in a box, which is nice, because last time they just kind of like shoved everything in there, but... Let's see... Oh, oh my goodness, we get another <laughs> array of photo books. Hold on. These aren't the... Is this the same photo book? Wait, I'm so confused. The covers are kind of the same. All right, so this is the next photo book. Oh wait, cause, 
I'm, wait, I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> this is the new jeans version. This is the group version. So I was like, wait, which member is this? Oh my god, idiot. So maybe the other, I, I'm pretty sure there's different photo books for all of them because, you know, they're member versions. So I think they're member version photo books. Okay, let's think a little bit, Brad. <laughs> I did wake up at like 7 a.m. today, so I'm not in the best filming state right now. So keep that in mind. But anyways, um, wait, some of these pictures kind of do look familiar though. Maybe they recycled some of them. But again, like the budget for this comeback was actually insane. Like literally giving us music videos for all of the tracks and the fact that they were like traveling for all of their music videos. Like all these music videos were like in different countries and shit. And you know, the sponsorship with, you know, Apple filming their entire music video on the iPhone, which I'm gonna be honest, you can tell it was filmed on an iPhone. <laughs> Let's be honest, we can tell, but I mean, it was still a fun music video for ETA. And then they got two global stars, Hoyan and um, Tony Lung. Like, bruh, that was actually crazy for the Cool With You music video. And then just this like album packaging, you know, the plastic bag and member versions for it nonetheless, which is kind of crazy. I feel like they could have done something else for the mem member version, to be quite honest, like the bag version as the member version is kind of crazy, but, and the fact that like, it's like, you know, the same three colors for six different versions. I mean, like making six different colors is probably a little too much. So I guess it's reasonable to have only three colors, but yeah, pretty crazy. Just, and Powerpuff Girls, that, co that collaboration too, which is again, insane. They're just like securing bag after bag after bag, literally. That was the... Oh my god, that was just the first photo book. <laughs> I need to remember that there's like literally multiple photo books, so I should probably go through these a lot faster. I honestly might have to just like time lapse most of these too because, bitch, if I were to talk through all of these photo books, oh my god, <laughs> this video will be like an hour long. We don't need that. But... Seems to be like the same photo shoot though. It honestly could be the same pictures and I'm just like stupid. Cause I mean, imagine taking this many pictures for this many like different photos, that's crazy. It seems very like personalized though, which I really like. Like it looks like they, they were really involved in the process of this album, you know, like the way they were like writing all these little notes and drawing these things, it's really cool. It seems like so fun to be like involved in the process of this, like designing it and like being able to make it a little more personalized like this. It honestly seems really fun, but it kind of seems like you can also like maybe like decorate it yourself as well. You know how like people make like, you know, collages out of photo books and extra albums and stuff. I feel like nowadays people, like companies are aware that fans like, you know, utilize the album in different ways, you know, and do a lot of DIY projects. They kind of like include those types of things in the albums. Like there's a lot of like DIY things in other albums as well. And like a lot of stickers and, you know, postcard books and stuff. So fans can like rip it up and <laughs> collage with it. So that's really cool. You know, you can actually make use of your albums that you spend so much money on. That's why y'all can do whatever you want with your albums, you know? Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Because it's your money, you spent it, it's your album. As long as it's not like harmful, you know? <laughs> Within reason, but yeah. That was the second one. And now this is the last one. How to spend a perfect summer. Wait, why does this one look kind of familiar though? Okay, this was something I should have done before the video, but okay, I'm stupid. So this photo book is actually gonna be the same for everything. Like this is just called the photo book C version and it's the same exact one. So yeah, that's why it looks very familiar. So this one's the same, but the a, these are the A and the B version. These ones are actually going to be different. So, okay. Glad we could actually figure that out instead of me looking stupid. All right. And now we get the little 
snapshot postcards. Okay, looks like this is the CD with the bag as the cover and the CD. Wow, so cool. All right, and then I'm assuming this lyric book is gonna be the same. And, uh, what is this? Oh, just, this is just like a little like warning, I guess. Cause you know, there's a plastic bag in here. So I guess they have to, for legal reasons, they have to include that. The way I just looked at the album details and I like already forgot. <laughs> Okay, so I guess this is probably the Target exclusive postcard. This is the only postcard that's in here. But like the previous albums didn't have that postcard. I'm so dumb. Okay, but yeah, this is the postcard. And then this, these are the stickers. These ones are actually different as well. So this is what we get. Cool, cool. All right, and then this is it, the paper ornament that we get. I'm pretty sure this is like member and like group version as well. So obviously, oh. In the group one, we get the group ornaments, and then we get our second photo card set. Again, really cute envelope. But let's see. So we have Minji, Hani, Danielle, Heading, and Hyein. Again, the box. So cute. Okay, next up we have the Minji. This is white, not black or gray. I'm stupid. <laughs> Makes sense because obviously, you know, putting a white on white would make it confusing. So yeah, it's a white bag. Idiot. Yes, I have Minji's. Ooh, so cool. Once again, this is what the white one looks like. I mean, I'm going to have six of these, so... <laughs> Imagine, if I ever go to the beach this summer, I'll try to use it as a summer bag, as a little cute accessory, if you will, even though you can't really fit shit in there. Oh my god. <laughs> that kind of like jump scared me, the fact that the, the selfie is this big. All right, so once again, this photo book's going to be the same, so I'm just going to put this aside. But now let's flip through these other two. And I think what I'm going to do from now on is I'm, I'm just going to do like a little quick flip through because I feel like I've talked a little too much. And I know nowadays how our generations, we're, our brains are fucked at this point and our attention spans are so short. So I won't take too much of your time anymore and I'll just flip through this. Y'all have heard enough of me, so. <laughs> okay, really quick though, this seems to be like another member, not member version, but like group photo book even though it is technically different it's not just minji so that's interesting although again these photos do look kind of familiar as well hope i'm just not flipping through the same exact photo book they did say it was six different versions so okay actually never mind there seems to be mainly pictures of minji so it is a little more member central. And then the second photo book. I'm literally the worst at it's just flipping pages and I suck at this so much it's because these pages are so like thin and flimsy so it's a little difficult to flip through so bear with me That was Minji's photo book. All right, so maybe this is the Target exclusive <laughs> postcard because I feel like I don't remember seeing this, but it's literally just a giant selfie. <laughs> so it's like a giant photo card. 
So I guess if you want to put a photo card in the back of your iPad, here you go. Lyric books and warning. Oh, we got two of them. They're really warning us. So there's these ones. And because this one just says Minji right here. So I think they're different. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? I just looked at the album details. Like, short-term memory loss, be like. And then I think these ones are like just Minji specifically. Like these are photos that she took. Although, isn't this the same picture? I think two of these are the same picture. <laughs> All right, this is her paper ornament. Really cool. This is the CD, which is actually different as well. Like some things are the same and some things are different. That's why I'm like, what's what? I don't know anymore, but okay. This is Minji's photo card set. Oh my God, this looks so similar to the first one. I thought it was the same, but it's just slightly different. Okay, this is Minji's photo card set. Alright, all right. next we have the last color, but we have Honey's Blue Beach Bag. This is going to be probably one of my longest unboxings ever because there's so many versions. And the fact that I don't even have the Weavers versions with me as well. Oh god. Whoa, this is the blue bag. Ooh, this might be my favorite one. Blue is actually one of my fave colors, so this is so pretty. Damn, they were not lying when they said that plastic is sharp. All right, here it is. The last color the box. I really need to go through this faster because, oh my God, it's already 45 minutes later. Also, okay, not even gonna lie, this like, like papery cardboard material, I'm not a fan of it. I remember like RM's Indigo album was this material too, and like, it's so fragile. Uh, you can tell, so these two photo books, super quick, super quick, super quick. <laughs> This is Honey's selfie postcard. Sorry, it's just the fact that it's so big, like, oh my god. All right, and then got a little fucked at the bottom, but this is the blue CD postcard set. I feel like some of these do look a little familiar. Like, I think two out of five of these are, like, the same postcard as the other ones. And then we get her paper ornaments photo card set. I know a lot of people might not like the fact that you get like a set with like everything, you know, which is kind of strange because obviously, you know, like it makes collecting a lot easier. But I guess some people do like, you know, the enjoyments of like trading and stuff, which I get. I do like both aspects as well, but in this case, for me, like, if this is a collection that's, like, super easy by just buying the albums, I'm all for it because, yeah, <laughs> I have to worry about enough things when it comes to collecting. This is what I don't show you guys, me repacking everything. Oh my god, this is such a pain, <laughs> please. Okay, now we are back to pink with Danielle. 
So we obviously know what this looks like by now. First photo book. I feel like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like we've seen these two group pictures like five times by now, like damn. <laughs> I feel like, I think these are, in fact, different CDs. I'm pretty sure I remember all six CDs being different, so I'll still go ahead and show it. Okay. And then this is hers. Oh my goodness. She's just like staring into our souls. The travel postcards. It definitely fits in with like the whole like theme, like summer travel theme. It's like postcards you'd send while you're traveling, duh. <laughs> Her, um, what do you even call this? Paper ornament, like, cartoon? Okay, and then we have her photo card set. Again, I like how each back is, like, very customized as well. And again, the variety of photo cards. And then we have Heading's blue bag. Okay, first photo book. Then we have her postcard. I think again, different CD. All right, and then travel postcards. They're all very like cloudy. I love clouds. Her paper ornament, photo card set. They almost have like similar like themes, like they're almost like sets, like this is like a purple set. I think different mem the different members had a purple photo card too, so that's interesting. Alrighty y'all, this is the end. We're finally at the end with Yane's white bag. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am a little exhausted right now. This entire video making process has been a two hour process so far. It's almost 10 a.m. And I obviously still need to edit and upload this video, so <laughs> pray for me. But if this video is up, that means we made it through. But oh my goodness. 
so many albums to open. It's crazy. Okay, now let's look through our last photo book for Hyang. So this is the postcard, or giant photo card. The travel postcards, oh, oh, is this upside down? Okay, I was like, wait, what is this? Our CD, and then paper ornaments. All right, and then we have her photo card set. So yeah, they all have like a purple theme. Oh, there's two of them. I feel like that will work together as like a set, photo card set. All righty. That wraps everything up. Round of applause, y'all. We made it. All right, that brings us to the end of this New Jeans Get Up unboxing. Here is our photo card spread. Um, again, very generous, and we're pretty much done with collecting this era already. Again, I just don't have the Weavers version, but I will be opening it in a future video, so I guess stay tuned for that if you want to see me <laughs> open it, because I'm pretty sure other people will be doing it before me. But yeah, anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Good boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah.